Yo, I want to share with you a tactic that I just found on how to get over that hump of just starting something when you're like twiddling your thumbs or procrastinating or whatever and you're like, oh, I know I, I know I should start or like I don't feel like doing it, but like I just got to do it. And like that, that hump, I just, I just figured this out this morning. I'm here in Fraser, uh, outside Winter Park, Colorado. I uh, went to uh, a coffee shop this morning and I wasn't, I, I have like maybe one more session of cleanup for this offer, like project thing, um, scripting. And I was like, ah, oh, I just don't, it kind of feels like work. Like I don't really feel like doing it. Um, you know, I, I want, I want to get back to that, like old, the old days of coffee shopping when I was just like journaling and, and just like thinking and, and organizing, documenting things. And after I, after I go through my process of 10 minutes gardening, five minutes gratitude journaling, um, I typically go back through and reread my goals document, goals, purpose, pains, affirmations, stuff like that. And this is where it gets interesting. I got through, I was reading through goals and reading through purpose. And I started reading these, these notes, what, what I had written down of like, basically like I'm working because, uh, like what I'm doing, I, I feel responsible. I feel a responsibility to give back. Like it's my duty to share the value that I'm finding and the systems that I'm making, the problems that I'm solving. It's my duty to share that with my community and with you. And, and the, like I was, some of the other ones are like, I'm working so that like, I don't have to work. I can choose to work in the future and, and reading these back and like really kind of internalizing them totally shifted my mindset from this like oh I don't feel like working to like it's my duty to do this it is my responsibility to do this work and it was just like <sighs> night and day night and day I I finished that and I was like wow the the barrier to entry has like completely obliterated ob obliterated the barrier to entry you know, I, I talked about this is very similar to the video I made two days ago, um, sharing my little win from the morning of like subordinating the feelings to values. I think this is a more, I don't, I don't remember. I think that that was more like, I just, you know, there was some like urgency behind that, like motivation. But like, you're not always going to have urgency, but like you will always have your goals, your purpose, your affirmations, like your identity written down and, and you can reread those. And I found, I, I, I feel like this is like a, a tactic to help get you in the mindset of like, I need to do this because of what I'm trying to accomplish because of my, uh, my identity, because it's my responsibility. And, you know, I think it's so, it, it relates to like having a strong why and, and purpose and passion behind why you do something. Um, and I think it just comes down to like reminding yourself of that, of that vision, of that dream life um, that you're trying to achieve. So anyway, I'll keep it at that. Short little tactic. Hopefully it helps because it helped me. Dude, like, yeah. I was like, ah, I don't really feel like it. I just want to, like, document and organize information. And that's what I ended up doing, like, after I, like, finished my my path through of, like, what I needed to get done. That's, like, how I spent the rest of the time, which have some, like, really good stuff there that I want to share. But I'll keep it to a singular message this video. Um... So anyway, a complete mindset shift. So hope that helps. Leave a like, comment down below. I feel like I just trashed this video by saying that. <laughs>
See you tomorrow.